going to loosen up the jaws on my uh, vise. Uh, let's see. Got to get a hold of this wire. And tighten down on it. Now, since I'm making two hands for the same hand, or same fellow, I'm going to uh, put another wire in here, about the same height. There we go. So I can match them up. Get the vise turned around so you can see both the uh, hands being worked on. Okay. Now it's just a matter of taking my wax and applying it. I want to show you here briefly how I've got my wax under the lamp. I've got a 100 watt bulb in the, the lamp. And, uh, that's plenty to keep the wax nice and soft. It's not really cold yet here in my studio, but it will be eventually. Can I add just a little bit of a wrist? It's smaller than what his wrist will be, but I still want to get it on there. Putting them together kind of helps you get, by sight, your hand equal to the other hand. I got a piece of wood in the wax. That's what that white thing is. I'm not going to worry about it. Just going to leave it there. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way here. All right, those two are done.
two hands done. I'm just starting these two new hands and I'm trying to keep them same size and scale as the other ones I just finished. And to uh, make sure I do, I'm just going to have this sitting right here, working from <coughs> work on this. Let me uh, remind you that I have instructional DVDs that you can buy. I started uh, sculpting back in 1965 at uh, Skyline High up there in Holiday, Utah. It was the year that uh, they finished the school that I started. They had built, uh, before that I had to, I would have had to been bused down to Olympus High School, which was a lot further away. But uh, that's when I started sculpting. And I've been playing with sculpting ever since. So, and, and teaching myself uh, little tricks, little uh, shortcuts to make uh, the hard easy and and be consistent in your work um, artists that uh, are consistent in their quality are much more successful than artists that aren't and it helps to have a knowledge of how to save money as you sculpt, especially if you're going to cast it in bronze. And uh, so that's what I'm trying to show in my instructional DVDs the little shortcuts, the little stuff you can do to not only save yourself time, but to uh, get a idea you have in your head into three dimension because basically what a sculptor does he takes thin air and this is a little saying that I came up with years ago he takes uh, thin air and puts something in it that never was before so look at the bottom of my in my description on this video and on YouTube and you'll find a link to a review of all my instructional DVDs I've got currently in availability and uh, I show how to uh, purchase them. It's a very simple matter. All right let's go on with sculpting and get the uh, advertisement out of the way here. Now see the one of the nice things about having the two hands together is that you can match up length and diameter of uh, your fingers. There's the uh, hand I finished before. A little bit different and I'm like I said I'm not worried about the uh, the uh, exactness of uh, the palm of the hand and things like that. These are not supposed to be uh, anal reproductions. They're supposed to be uh, a feeling. Something that I'm trying to pass on. And sometimes Leaving out the high detail makes it come alive a little bit more. Now I'm doing all the, the hands open and their fingers in one position. I'll change the position of the fingers once I, uh, I attach it to the uh, clay. Oops, there we go. Yeah, when you purchase one of my DVDs, uh, you're helping me to continue doing what I'm doing on YouTube. It's time consuming and uh, takes a bit, quite a bit of effort to uh, 
give you every angle, try to put you right here in the sculpture. And uh, camera equipment and all that stuff. I'd like to improve my cameras. I'd love to get a real high quality HD camera at some point. I'm using a Canon Sure Shot right now. And I've been using this Sure Shot for five years, so it's bound to give out at some point. <laughs> so I'd like to be able to uh, upgrade all my equipment someday. And one way to do that is by selling my instructional DVDs. All right, those two hands are done. I didn't take too long. And you can see I've got them connected together so that uh, they match. And I'll put this aside and do another hand, a couple of hands. All right, that's going to be it for me on the video today because um, this will be just a repeat every time. What I'll do is I'll come back and make a video when I attach all these hands. And I'll do that at a later date. All right, till next time, happy sculpting.